peeps we just made it to the metro so we're just gonna hop on the train here and ride a few stops and then we'll be at our hotel in about 15 minutes and this is the Rossio station. Lisbon has a complete metro system with subways and it has about four lines. So I think they have the green, the blue, the red, and the yellow line. And then we're hopping onto the green line right now. Very day, if I'm not mistaken. Gotta enter the subway through this big one here because the stroller won't fit through the other ones. So this is the car that we buy with the day pass to travel around Lisbon and it's about six dollars and sixty euros for the day. After tax it comes up to about 750. So we just tap it here and it opens up and we hit the subway. Just gotta find an elevator. Oh here it is. So this is where we're going guys. out the subway at Alvalade station here in Lisbon and we're just gonna walk 10 minutes to our hotel and that should be it but look at these buildings though nothing in Lisbon seemed to be newly built they just maintain the old structures very interesting and there's a lot of sculptures as you can see right here guys anyways let's find this hotel guys check this out right here this right here is a gas station guys I kid you not right now you can see it's literally just like like a parking spot like you could just stop and get gas that's crazy Europe is something else to be honest it's just like a parking spot on the side of the road and then there is like fuel pumps there I didn't even imagine that type of setup exists so we have just arrived at our hotel here and this is what it's called the Massa Hotel Campo Grande we just gotta take the ramp here to get up to the front lobby area and this is what it looks like inside peeps So we called ahead and asked for early check-in, so let's see if that's available for us. Here it is peeps as you come into the entrance here uh, we have a double twin room where they have a coffee section right here a little mini fridge down here and then this is the bathroom right here on the right as you come in a nice full-length mirror a big looks like a 50 inch screen tv flat screen and here's the double twin bed that we have we already have sweet pea sitting on here <laughs> say hi sweet pea Say hello. A little bit of office area with a couple waters. A lot of hotels don't give you water anymore. So that's good. Two bedside lights, bedside tables, and that's pretty much it. And the interesting thing here, guys, is that in order for everything to work in the room, you have to insert your card in here, right? So for the AC to come on, or you turn on the AC or your lights to come on, um, you have to insert your room keys. That's pretty interesting. I haven't had that before in any of the hotels we've stayed at, but this is actually Nespresso coffee. So it's pretty high-end coffee that they're giving you here it's pretty nice and some nice teas as well gotta say we're liking Europe so far specifically Lisbon Portugal we will definitely be back uh, let's see what our view looks like so we're on the seventh floor room 702 and we don't have the best view it looks like they're doing a lot of construction and uh, there's some apartments across the way but nice place so this room we paid 130 euros per night and it's bed and breakfast so we do get breakfast as well, well We'll check that out tomorrow and show you guys what it looks like. 
we actually got checked in early so the check-in time is 2 p.m usually over in north america it's 3 or 4 p.m so that's also good and they checked us in at 1 p.m so that's awesome This is what the bathroom looks like, folks. Got some towels, got a rainfall head shower, a handheld as well. Nice spacious shower, no tub. So the toilet's like very clean, very nice. That's all we asked for. Small but functional. Two hours later. So we're out here in Lisboa, Portugal. It's our first time in Europe. Well, my first time in Europe. Decided to take a little stroll and go grab some dinner, which was really good, by the way. We went to Taberna Londrina. That's in Portuguese. I'm not really sure what it means, but I'll put it on the screen down below. As you can see, there's a lot of sculptures here. The buildings are very old, but well-maintained. So far, so good here in Portugal. My first time in Europe has not been bad at all. It's uh, pretty interesting and we'll definitely be back. I have Dorothy right here with me. Okay, so let's see what Dorothy has to say. This is her first time in Lisbon as well. How is Lisbon? I like Lisbon. It's a nice vibe. The people are friendly. It's a pretty place as well. I like the old buildings, the sculptures, all of that good stuff. Food was good. I'm happy. No complaints. I would come again. We're hopeful that we will uh, be able to visit Europe much more than we've been visiting like North American cities. Hopefully we'll get to see London, Amsterdam and some of the other popular European cities guys. Check out the cobblestone walkways. There's a lot of cobblestone here in Europe, Lisboa to be exact. We're heading on to the Avenue Estados Unidos da America, the United States of America Avenue. Portuguese is very similar to Spanish. The next morning, 